Well, Sevier County Schools says water sources at five schools tested higher than the state allows for lead, and that includes Sevierville Middle and Sevier County High Schools. The district says it repaired those sources and retesting is now underway. And 10 News reporter Sean Franklin spoke to a neighboring school district about a new state law that requires testing at every school. Sean? Robin John, Sevier County Schools announced the results of the lead testing at the Board of Education meeting on November the 12th. The school system says it notified parents and worked to make repairs. Sevierville Middle School was one of five schools where water sources tested positive for higher amounts of lead than what the state allows. A release from the district says Pigeon Forge Middle, New Center Elementary, Jones Cove Elementary, and Sevier County High School all tested positive as well. The school system tied the source at Sevierville Middle to the kitchen. That kitchen also serves Sevierville Intermediate, Trula Lawson Center, Parkway Academy, and White School. The district says repairs have already happened, and now they're waiting on results from a retest. Hamlin County Schools Superintendent Dr. Jeff Perry says his district already tested all possible sources of contamination. So over the summer, we went ahead and tested all of those units, and we found that there was only a very small number that actually contained an unacceptable amount of lead. None were typical drinking water sources. The district spent nearly $20,000 to treat the lines or take them out. Money, Perry says, could have been used in other ways. As the state made some of these laws, however, we always contend with them that that should come with some funding. State Representative Rick Staples of Doxville sponsored the bill that mandated lead testing at schools. The new law went into effect in January. He says there's a possibility the state could provide money to districts and law enforcement agencies to test and fix water sources. Possibly the state of Tennessee could look at uh, allowing for grants. Also, LEAs could work in concert with our institutions of higher learning to give our master and PhD students opportunity to help them do the testing. The retest results from Sevier County should arrive later this week. We'll send it back to you. All right, Sean, thank you.